Today I'm going to do a market update for a Miami Dade, single family homes in four very popular neighborhoods. And I'm going to get started right now. Hey everyone, my name is Jamie Pretzi. I'm a real estate agent in Miami Dade and Broward counties. And today I'm going to do a market update for you for single family homes in four very popular neighborhoods. But first, if this is your first time here, hit the subscribe button so you never miss another update. We do put out new videos every week. Also use the link in our information box and download our free relocation guide. I do update that guide all the time. Actually, I update the page all the time. So make sure you bookmark it and save it and go review it once a month because I do add new market information all the time. Also, if you would like to schedule a chat with me, there's a Calendly link that you can use to schedule a chat with me, or also you can use the information in the information box to call, text, or email me. We're always here to be a resource for you. Okay, let's get started. So today I'm going to do a market update for you for single family homes and four very popular neighborhoods in Miami Day. I'm going to start north with Miami Shores and work my way down to the Upper East Side, Coral Gables, and South Miami. I'm going to be doing single family homes and non waterfront single family homes because that market data is very different. The reason why I chose these four areas is because they are four very popular areas that many of our clients purchase real estate in. And I think it's because they are still located the sort of the city areas of Miami Dade. They are still kind of along the coastline, easy access to many things around the city and they are just very popular neighborhoods that people find appealing to live in. In Miami-Dade, we have a lot of different types of real estate. We have 34 municipalities, 37 census-designated places, and 16 unincorporated communities. So it's really, really important if you are looking to purchase real estate here that you work with a professional who's very experienced in our area. Also, I would say that we also have a lot of clients who are moving back and forth in between Miami-Dade County and also Broward County. And so I think it's very important as local real estate agents that we have an expansive knowledge of both areas because people really do consider both areas when they are moving to South Florida. But today I'm going to be focusing a bit on Miami-Dade. So the first neighborhood we're going to start with is Miami Shores. Miami Shores is a really popular neighborhood. It's just north of downtown Miami the design district, and it's south of North Miami and Aventura. It is a few minutes drive to the airport, the beach, downtown Miami and Brickell, and people really love Miami Shores. Miami Shores has a small town feel, and there's a little downtown area that has a little street with some shops and restaurants, and people really like this neighborhood a lot. So here's some information about single family homes that have sold in Miami Shores over the last 180 days non-waterfront properties. The active listings right now are 669,000 to 3.6 million. The average listed price is 1.19 million and the average sold price is 1.177 million. The average property that sold over the last 180 days non-waterfront was a three bedroom, three bath property with 2,100 square feet. The next neighborhood is the Upper East Side. The Upper East Side is really comprised of several different neighborhoods. And so I want to talk to you really quickly about this. So like Miami Shores, if you're searching for real estate in Miami Shores, you can use the city name Miami Shores. But if you're looking for real estate, especially single family homes in the Upper East Side, it's not really Upper East Side, Florida. It's Miami, Florida. And so you really have to know which area that you want to purchase in, which neighborhood based on the area and the location of that neighborhood within the map. So you really need to use a map search for the Upper East Side. The Upper East Side has very popular communities like Shorecrest, Bay Point, Bellmead, and Morningside, but you will not see when you're looking for real estate in this area, Morningside, Miami, Shorecrest, Miami, it's really Miami, Florida. So again, you have to really use the map and know what areas are designated by that community if you're really focused in on, for instance, Bay Point. This area is really popular and many people love purchasing real estate in this area. It is very close to the city 
and really it has easy access to a lot of different places around Miami. So these are the types of properties listed and sold over the last 180 days. What's on the market right now are properties listed from 649 to 5.99 million. The average list price is 1.3 million. The average sold price is 1.29 million. And the average property, non-waterfront property that sold in the Upper East Side was a three bedroom, three bath property with 2,000 square feet. Next, we're going to Coral Gables. Now, Coral Gables, you can search. It is Coral Gables, Florida. So if you're looking for real estate in Coral Gables, you can use the city Coral Gables. Coral Gables is really one of Miami's most distinguished neighborhoods. People love this area. It's south of downtown Miami and Brickell. It is really known as the city beautiful. There are beautiful homes in this area. Non-waterfront properties are, of course, also waterfront properties, but there are some incredible luxury mansions that are non-waterfront properties in this neighborhood. And Coral Gables is a very big area within Miami-Dade County. It is a significant business center for both local and international businesses. It has a really nice little downtown area that expands several blocks. That area is also growing. There are a lot of shops and dining and restaurants, and there are a lot of international and domestic businesses within that downtown Coral Gables area. The types of properties listed and sold over the last 180 days, non-waterfront single family homes. The current actives are from 424 up to 24.5 million. The average list price is 1.89 million. The average sold price is 1.84 million. And the average property that sold in Coral Gables was a four bedroom, three bath home with 2,780 square feet. Next, South Miami. South Miami, you can also use South Miami, Florida for searching. Now, South Miami I always say is sort of a hidden gem because a lot of people from outside of Miami Dade are not always super familiar with South Miami, but locals love South Miami. It is a really great neighborhood that people really like to purchase in. And the prices in there have gone up a lot over the last several years. We have had several clients buy in that area and they are just, they love it. South Miami is a suburb of Miami and it borders the University of Miami's main campus and the cities of Coral Gables and Pinecrest. And it is a really great area. It's a few minutes drive to Pinecrest, Coral Gables, Miami Beach, downtown Miami and Brickell. So the average types of properties that were sold and listed over the last 180 days there are currently active properties from 480 to 1.799 million. The average list price was 1.31 million. The average sold price was 1.289 million. The average property that sold in South Miami was a four bedroom, three bath property with 2,300 square feet. So I hope that you really enjoy this market information for Miami Shores, the Upper East Side, Coral Gables, and South Miami. If you have more questions about buying real estate in Miami Dade or Broward County, we're always here to be a resource for you. You can find us online on Instagram at The Pretzies. Also, our website, thepretzies.com. Please feel free to give me a call or text me, and we will be happy to help you. Okay, that's it. We will see you soon.